Welcome everybody, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how we can use Todoist. So let's start. The first thing when you're going to log into Todoist and when you're going to create an account, I recommend going to top, cor top right corner to the settings and click on the themes and then choose a dark theme or different theme because the white one is going to destroy your eyes. So this is much better and much prettier in my opinion, but you do you which, you, which one you actually want. When you're going to be here, in left top corner, you're going to see inbox here. Today, today is your actually, uh, like, what do you want to do? Upcoming, these are the events that you can make, like, for your calendar. Then you're going to have, like, welcome here, and these are your projects. Then you have labels here, and you need to premium for that, and filters, also we need to premium for that. So, what we're going to do now is that we are going to create a new project. When you're going to create a new project, let's name it YouTube Tutorials. Then you can simply change the color here, like teal. You can add it to favorites and you can choose between list and board before creating the project. What is really important and really simple is that when you're going to click list, you can switch between board and list anytime. So let's click add here. When I got it, let's click add task. Now I will go with the YouTube to do list tutorial. So this is my first test that I want. What can I do? I can simply click on it. I got to see it here, so I can schedule it. Now you can schedule it like simple choosing date or you can choose like every day, every week and it will automatically, uh, you will make repairing task here. If you're gonna write like every week, every day into the schedule. Now we can take a schedule, then you can add the subtask here how to add subtask this is going to be my subtask tutorial add task what you can do then is you can actually click on the subtask and create sub subtask in your subtask that's fascinating right but this is how we can do it now when you're going to have the subtask here you're going to see comments here an activity of what you actually did but you need your premium for that what you can do now is just check like here and you're gonna have it completed if you want to. Then you have a select the project here that you can add it to. Add labels. Change the priority here. And you can add reminder if you want to, to your, to, to your task. Then you can rename the task, copy link to the task or hide. So when I, go, when I got it, and this is the first thing that I have, is okay. What you can do now is you can create add a new section here, right? Name the section. We can go YouTube, new tutorials. And this is my new section that I created. And I can simply add a new tasks here, etc. What you can do also is to add a comment or, or invite someone. So your friend or a co-worker or someone else invite and then you're gonna have a collaborator here and you can simply add the collaborator to your project here so this is really perfect right and yep so when I'm going to continue even what you can do now also I want to show you when I'm going to click on the three dots next to the sign you can view as a board as a Kanban board then you can sort by date sort by priority by name by responsibility and you can really choose. Now, what I really like is this. Look at this, what we're going to do. Add a project, click a board. And if you want to create a day-to-day, -day, right? Project name, we can go uh, project. And color is going to be red. Add here. Now, you can simply name the section. Let's go to do. Then we can add a new in process and then we can go finished and you can simply create a task here so let's go with the task youtube video and i can simply move it in process and then finished and voila this is how we do it it's like really simple and really easy right so yeah this is pretty much it how we do it now when you're going to write up corners to the settings you're going to see also block here and templates. Let's click on a template. 
And when you're going to be in templates, you can actually choose different templates for using. Like let's go with management or development or design sprint, for example. And you can see how it actually looks like, right? Or marketing and sales blog post. And again, you can see again, and this is like simple list created. And this is like, let's go. Uh, this is section. These are the three tasks. Then we get a section, one task and three subtasks. And anyone can do it. I mean, like I can, I can even recreate these. And as you can see, icebox up next in progress. This is a Kanban that you can create it. This is same. Oh, I also I'm going to show you how you can add emoji. So what do you want to do in to do? You just want to press Windows plus and it will automatically add you emoji. So you can actually do it like that. Then what you can do also is to actually delete and leave the project here. Look, delete project. And you can also do that if you want to. Yeah. By the way, in your today, you never, you can't actually invite someone. By the way, today I was a dentist. It was awesome. You can actually invite someone to your today project because that's just you and yourself. So this is something you need to keep in mind. Then you're going to have like also your productivity and you can edit goals. This is called, uh, I think, karma. Uh, let me show you when you go to settings. You can click here on karma. And you're going to see here, goal, small steps add up to big accomplishments, set goals for competing. So daily goal is the five things that I want to accomplish. And then when you're going to finish those things here on the right top corner, your productivity will rise. So this is something you need to also keep in mind, right? And you can have weekly, by the way, just premium, and you can simply edit goals here in settings. So this is pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, I'll be really happy to help you. Todoist is a wonderful tool. I would like it's much better than Trello in my in my opinion. Much simpler to use, and I like that you have the list version in which you don't have in Trello. Also, if I would any do is similar to Todoist, and both are really good platforms to use if you want to use the free ones. But Todoist got this beautiful essence in it that I personally really like. So yeah, if you have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you and provide some guidance and stuff like that. And yep. Goodbye.